How's it going? Welcome back to the hangar. We've got a special guest with me today. My beautiful wife is behind the camera. And we finally have all the parts I need to start my aircraft project. And we're gonna unbox them and inventory and just do a quality control, make sure everything's here before we get into it. And it's a very important step um, when you're building an aircraft. So I have a derelict friend who says I need to open my crates a little more creative. So here we have a 661 steel with a three foot bar. I will not be using this. If you're influenced by your friends, especially when they only have one leg and they're drunk derelicts, then you're in for some bad life decisions. So we're gonna put this away. I will, however, be using a Leatherman. That is the ultimate hand tool. Strapping out of the way. Very carefully, make sure that nothing is hidden inside papers. Wing kit inventory. Please read before unpacking. I'm gonna have to fight every natural urge I have as a man and read the instructions before I actually do stuff. All right, so in the very first paragraph, it's talking about the laundrons and that it's in with the spars because it's just simply more cost effective than building other crates. Where did I put my ha the hammer? I get super excited and I put stuff down and I never remember where it is. <laughs> Well, it looks like everything was lasered, not punched. You can kind of tell because they have like a little bit of a cut in line on these uh, round pieces, or these are small holes. And then we have the instructions. The wings instructions. It'll probably be another one for every step along the way. Very important. Once again, don't throw these out, Blake. Look at them, read them, learn them, do them. So now we have the whole wing kit kind of opened up. All the part numbers are listed in the instructions, but they're also listed, or listed here. While my wife was setting up the camera for uh, a time lapse, I grabbed the very first thing I saw. You want to see a wing tip? Looking good, pretty light. There's other stuff inside it. So RVs are known for kind of like their wing shape. It's they're very long and they're actually very stubby. So one of the benefits about these planes is they actually fit very nicely into uh, hangers. I have one Cessna 150 behind you guys and I could probably put two, I know I could put two RVs in there easily. Um, I could, I can turn that plane around and have the uh, RV and the 150 in there as well too. That's just how compact these things are and they're just such a high performing aircraft for what it is. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited.
time. So I turned off the time lapse. It's pretty boring for us here, but it had to be done. So down in this long box, pretty much everything is accounted for. There was one small issue with a fuel sending unit. The parts they sent didn't quite match the part that was inventory, so I have to call and see about that. Otherwise, everything was pretty good. In this box with the wings, pretty much everything was accounted for so far. But we have a couple pieces left, so I just kind of wanted to bring you along and see what it's about. Because then it's all twined up. So, I think I know what it is. Wonder if you guys can guess what it is. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so we have more parts here. So this is part of the leading edge. This is part of the tailing edge. These are actually the flaps. These parts are for access panels. And these are leading edge parts. And you can see with this hole being lasered out that this is where the uh, fuel fill is going to be. So they bend it. And you actually have to make a wood jig to the exact profile, we'll go with profile of the wing, and then you actually start assembling these and then all the pieces clamp together. So I'm gonna have to build a lot of my own kind of tooling. And then these little bits left over, the wing skins. And they do not cheap out on the duct tape. You got the good stuff that rips all the protective coating on there. So these, Material comes with like a, a PVC coating, just protective coating that needs to get cleaned off of everything. It's actually quite satisfying when you get a good peel and it all comes off in one. All right, so we ran out of time for today. So when you see me again, uh, I'm gonna be by myself and I'm gonna finish inventorying these parts. It's a very crucial part. With this kit, you only have 30 days to do your inventory and make sure you have everything and start contacting uh, Vans Aircraft to make sure that all the pieces do get sent. Some pieces are back ordered, uh, pandemic hit, and everybody started living their lifelong dream of building either an aircraft or a hot rod. And now you can't get parts for anything. So we're very fortunate that we got this kit. We got as many pieces as we got, and we got it as quick as we did. So see you in the morning. You can turn it off there. Turn to whatever you want. All right, finally back at the hangar again. Um, this month is just complete chaos for us between family visits, travel, weddings, conferences. It's uh, absolute madness. So back again, and finally, now the wing inventory is done. Don't worry about that pile of mess, I'll clean that up. This is slightly overwhelming. The amount of parts that actually goes into the wings, it's uh, pretty crazy. And when it comes down to it, the outer skins and basically everything that uh, holds this airplane together is made out of a really thin material. So it's uh, pretty mind boggling that this plane's rated up to plus six G's. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff tucked back into this crate, this stuff over and make room for those two smaller boxes because that is what they call the empennage. For reference, that is basically an empennage. You have your elevator and your rudder. Wings are tucked away till I'm kind of ready to deal with them. Now let's move on to this box. Had all our aircraft parts. Put you guys there. Well, I'm gonna be a little more careful this time around because I almost got hit in the face in the last box. They're not cheap with the tape. I was ready for it this time. Grab the tape. It's already on the plastic, not on the laser cut edge. And you won't rip the protective coating up. So just start gonna pull everything out nice and easy like. 
spent a lot of money on these parts. You want to treat them as best as you can. Ooh. This is extremely light. This feels lighter than anything else that I've uh, picked out. Hey, there's another layer. It's cool. You can see along the edge here, the uh, machining lines. So there's really nothing for distortion in it. Like everything, still gonna need to be cleaned up. So when handling, Thin material. Obviously, you want to be real careful. You don't want to kink it. So you just kind of, and on bigger sheets, definitely want to have a second hand. So just be real light to the touch with it, and uh, watch your fingers because it will cut very quickly. Last box. More plans, brackets, ooh, ah, there we are. These are the fiberglass pieces that go on the outside of the elevator. Hardware, love hardware. These guys are for the outsides of the uh, elevator. It's pretty neat. They, uh... well, this one's quite heavy. And it is just lead. So lead counterweights that are kind of formed. Okay, well, everything's unpacked, unboxed. Grab the inventory of the sheet and uh, yeah, I'm gonna put you guys down and uh, let's go through some inventory. That's yeah, pretty boring though. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save you the pain. All right, well, went through the inventory. Everything was here except one thing that was back ordered. It was uh, some bearings and hinge plates uh, to assemble uh, the elevator, I believe. Just one part was, uh, was back ordered. So I'll email Vans about all the back order stuff. Hopefully this piece will come for the elevators or the empennage kit soon and everything else will come for the wings. Don't, not a big rush for that. But yeah, I'm uh, really excited to get going on this. So, uh, so I just gotta say thanks for watching. If you made it this far, if you could do me a solid, click the like button. That does help push videos, push the video out to more people and uh, helps build my subscriber base. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and click that. That would really help me out too. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's build an airplane. Bye for now.